In patients with acute decompensated heart failure, guidelines recommend intravenous loop diuretics to ease symptoms of fluid overload. But many patients are discharged with residual signs of volume overload, a predictor of poor outcomes. A new study examined whether acetazolamide, a carbonic anhydrase inhibitor, could improve diuretic efficiency and decongestion when added to loop diuretics. In this multicenter parallel group randomized double blind placebo controlled trial, 519 patients with acute decompensated heart failure, signs of volume overload, and elevated natriuretic peptide levels were assigned to receive either intravenous acetazolamide at 500 mg daily or placebo in addition to standard intravenous loop diuretics for up to three days. The primary endpoint was successful decongestion, defined as the absence of signs of volume overload within three days after randomization without the need to escalate decongestive therapy. Successful decongestion occurred in 42% of the patients in the acetazolamide group and in 31% of those in the placebo group. The composite secondary endpoint of death from any cause or rehospitalization for heart failure over three months was similar in the study groups. The incidence of adverse events was also similar in the study groups, both during treatment, including the combined renal safety endpoint, and during three months of follow-up. The authors conclude that among patients with acute decompensated heart failure with volume overload, adding acetazolamide to loop diuretic therapy led to a higher incidence of decongestion. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.